Okay, it's time to discover the three most effective push-up exercises. This video will cover must-know details, techniques, and tips everyone needs to know. We're going to assume you've already unlocked the absolute basics and have a foundation level of bodyweight strength. Once these become a warm-up, you're ready to level up with variation. Let me teach you the best way to begin your one-arm push-up journey. The best way to get better at one-arm push-ups is using an incline. During the entire set, I'm aiming to keep the elbow pinned in close towards my body. The real challenge is controlling the trunk rotation by creating full body tension. The secret for successful one-arm push-ups is creating maximal stability. You can see that I've got my legs straddled wide apart, and I've also got the free hand gripping onto the back of my leg to increase full body coordination. I'm doing my best to align the body forwards, keeping the torso tracking straight ahead. Form quality and full range of motion must be the number one priority. Only when capable of performing multiple sets of five to eight reps at a given height should we consider going lower. Of course, Body Weight 101 suggests that the closer we go towards the ground, the more of our body weight that we're actually pushing, making the exercise harder and you getting stronger. Don't make the mistake of rushing progress if the body has to twist, arch and cheat. The scapula stability required for one-arm push-ups is ridiculous. These are insanely tough. If the stabilizer muscles surrounding the shoulder aren't doing their job, this is going to be an impossible exercise to pull off. One-arm push-ups are highly specific, requiring direct focus in order to truly master. Think of the floor one-arm push-up as a display of strength and a long-term goal if you're still working towards it. Now, don't get me wrong, archer push-ups are a fantastic exercise, but they're not 100% optimal in this context. You can't emulate the exact recruitment, the exact balance, and the specific motor pattern with bilateral support. Most people are going to see faster gains by putting effort into elevated one-arm training. You'll increase unilateral strength and build specific scapular control for proper one-arm push-ups. In addition to decreasing side-to-side -side asymmetry, get ready to master the exact single arm mechanics that we need to improve. Are you ready for an increased challenge on two arms? This exercise is an absolute must. Pseudo planche push-ups are incredibly effective when you're training at home with no equipment. These are basically push-ups while leaning forward. Simple, but not easy. Get ready to feel absolutely fried in the upper body, especially the anterior deltoids. Difficulty is scalable for all levels from budding beginner to adapting advanced. Let's jump into the best technique for pseudo planche push-ups. With the scapula, we wanna retract on the way down, pinching the shoulder blades together. And then as we push up, we wanna spread the shoulder blades apart into protraction. Moving on to the elbows, we want to get a complete lockout straight elbow every single time. And we also wanna do external rotation of the shoulder to enhance that full body stability and set standards for ourselves, which is very important. Of course, when it comes to calisthenics, best practice is going from an anterior pelvic tilt to a posterior pelvic tilt, squeezing the glutes, squeezing the legs, getting that full body tension, and it's gonna translate very nicely into those upper body gains. Most people make the mistake of returning to a push-up support during their reps. This has to be avoided. Instead, the shoulders should be moving up and down in a relatively vertical manner. It's surreal how challenging but effective bodyweight exercises are when you apply the correct methods and mindset. Keep yourself accountable with a form which is personally demanding to reap the full benefits of pseudo planche push-ups. The pike push-up is a serious strength and mass builder. No worries with calisthenics, mate. We're training all of the upper body pushing muscles involved in overhead pressing. Keeping the body weight shifted forwards is going to make or break the exercise. You must avoid a common cheat, which is shifting the weight backwards, using the legs to offload the body weight. So how far apart should the hands be for pike push-ups? 
Well, it depends. Don't you hate that answer when it comes to fitness? A narrow grip is going to emphasize the tricep muscles. A wider grip is going to use more shoulders, especially the anterior deltoids. If you're interested in bodyweight strength training, advanced calisthenics requires tucked elbows, so tuck the elbows, we must. Take your pike push-ups to the next level by elevating the hands and the feet. The head is now able to go below hand level. These are seriously effective. Make sure to extend the arms and open the shoulders in one fluid motion. Lastly, don't forget to shift the weight forwards on the way down to keep these honest, hard and effective. These are timeless push-up variations because they allow long-term progress from beginner to advanced. We're covering both the horizontal and vertical planes of movement for complete calisthenics development. Out of the three push-ups shown today, which one is your favorite and why? Drop a comment below. All right, everyone, that's it for today. Go to fitnessfaqs.com and download our at-home calisthenics programs. Otherwise, watch another video and I'll see you over there.